हेलो स्टूडेंट्स कैसे हैं आप सब लोग होप कि अच्छे होंगे और अपने घरों पे रुके हुए होंगे क्योंकि लॉकडाउन पीरियड अभी हमारे यहाँ पे चला हुआ है कोरोना वायरस की वजह से तो इस लॉकडाउन पीरियड का कैसे फ़ायदा उठाएं हम ये अब अपनी ऑनलाइन क्लासेस के द्वारा इसको हम कवर अप कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो स्टूडेंट्स आज हम शुरू करेंगे अपना फर्स्ट चैप्टर जिसका नाम है ग्रोइंग प्लांट्स ग्रोइंग प्लांट्स इन दिस चैप्टर यू विल बी एबल टू नो हाउ द सीड्स आर फॉर्म्ड हाउ द प्लांट्स फ्रूट्स आर फॉर्म्ड इन अ प्लांट एंड वट आर द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ अ फ्लावर दीज आर द इंफॉर्मेशन विच वी आर गोइंग टू गैदर फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर ओके तो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू you will be able to see any flower or any plant in the garden or any where in your surrounding okay then what you will see the plants has there are two types of uh, plants you will be able to see in the garden okay first is flowering plants and second is non flowering नॉन फ्लॉरिंग मीन्स जिनके ऊपर फ्लावर्स नहीं होते हैं और फ्लॉरिंग मीन्स जिनके ऊपर फ्लावर्स होते हैं इज दैट क्लियर दीज आर द टू टाइप्स और वी कैन से टू टाइप्स ऑफ प्लांट्स विच यू कैन सी इन द गार्डन फर्स्ट इज फ्लावरिंग फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स प्रोड्यूस फ्लावर्स एंड द फ्लावर्स हेल्प टू प्रोड्यूस द सीड्स दैट मीन्स दीज आर प्रोड्यूस्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ सीड्स clear now this second type of plants you will be able to see in the garden how they are produced they are produced with the help of leaves stem and root clear now these are the parts which help to grow this type of flower uh, plants If now you will be able to know that how the seeds are produced in this type of plants. For this purpose, you will see the flowers on the plants which have seeds, or the plants which do not have seeds will not be able to have the flowers. Okay. Now. <clears throat> we will going to discuss how the seeds are formed in a plant plants we, as we have discussed plants have flowers okay and this is a structure of any typical flower here yeah. and one more structure is there this type of structure is also here okay this is the typical structure of a flower now first seeds are shown from seeds plants grow okay from plants flowers are produced from flowers seeds are produced fruits are produced and from fruits seeds are produced this is the typical cycle which is followed in any in stage of a growing plant okay now you be you will be able to know the, how the seeds are produced in the flower for this purpose first you will discuss we will discuss about the structure the typical flower structure have some main parts like this one is sepal this one is 
scratches okay and this one is style and this is ovary and this is stigma here and all these three parts are the part of the female part of a plant that is known as pistil that is known as pistil okay now one more structure is there you will be able to see this this one this is anther this is filament okay and these two structures like this one anther and this is filament or well, these comprise the main part of the plant that is known as stem okay now we will individually discuss about the different part this is the greenish color this is of greenish color that helps the, in the protection of the bud in the early stages clear and this is the sepal sepal is the most colorful part of the flower it attracts the insects for the pollination purpose okay pollination we will discuss in the next lesson okay now this one this one this is the main part of the plant it helps in the formation of pollen grains the yellow powdery substance that is known as pollen okay these are produced here here and this is the female part of the flower this is stigma which is sticky in nature when the pollen are sticked here then they get inside the style and get fused here that is known as ovule okay clear the main purpose of this female part is to produce seeds or fruit when this stage is reaches it means the pollination occurs here then it gets trapped off from here okay yahan se hat jate hain iske baad yahan pe fruit banega is area mein that will be the fruit and the fruit contains seeds you will be able to see the apple and here is the seeds okay these are the seeds which are formed in the fruit okay if you uh, the next part will be discussed in the next video in that chapter or in that lesson we will discuss about the pollination and the transmitting agent of pollen grains okay if you like this video if you got some information from this video and if this is in, uh, useful for you then you can share subscribe our channel okay thank you